you've met with our staff, you've engaged with them. Tell me a little bit about the staff at, at Garden Spot Village. Okay. Um, I, I want to put this, let, let me think a moment for this, uh, about this. What I found in, I'm going to actually use an example that may not be an exciting example for an interview, but as a consultant, it's a pitch perfect example. We knew as part of the engagement that the leadership team and the board wanted our organization to involve as many people as we can. So you know we reached out to the board, we reached out to the leadership team, uh, we, we reached out to middle management, which makes, and I know this is a question we didn't talk about, make certain you ask me about it because I think your middle management team is pretty darn good. Uh, but back to employees, we put together a variety of focus groups. And so we ended up meeting with, I don't know, about 35% of your employees in different settings. So it's a pretty high number. And because it, it was a large group, we had to use, quite frankly, some different processes to get lots of their ideas and lots of their thoughts. And like any group of employees, when they came in, everyone went to the back of the seat, you know, and it's like, come on up, come on up, oh, back in the seat, you know. Uh, but once we got them started, as you know, we asked them a series of questions. We have literally worked with thousands of employees, thousands, not hundreds, over 25 years. And we were surprised how engaged your employees got. You know, when we would ask a question, we'd have 85, 90% participation, okay? Uh, something we did with your employees we don't do often, and keep in mind, we had large groups, so large groups can be intimidating, quite frankly. We asked them three or four hardcore strategic questions. Not, what does Garden Spot Village do well? How do you feel about that? All important. But what do you see the major changes being in your profession in the next 10 years? That's a question we ask boards, senior leadership teams, and we ask it of your employees. And we said, okay, everyone has an index card and everyone has a pen. We had over 80% of every employee group respond to three strategic questions like that. Do you know what our average is? 15%. And then this is what makes it amazing. Usually the folks that do respond are bringing their very best to it, so every response matters. But usually they tend to be uh, very much about their department, their area, and we respect that very much about what they know. We were sho literally shocked to see the amount of strategic responses to this. And when we sort of tallied it all up and we saw what your employees said, because we were trying to see were there any gaps in what your middle managers and your senior leadership and your board said, the alignment was spectacular. It, it, was, it was one of those things we all sat down and we said, this is absolutely extraordinary. So it's another example. And that doesn't happen because you sat everyone down and said, we're going to teach you how to think strategically. You know, that didn't happen because you said E4 is coming in. Somehow, I've told you this, I'm not certain how you do it, but somehow in your communications and how you're managing your people, you are finding, uh, how would I say this, non-threatening, palatable, smart, comfortable, meaningful ways to communicate some of these critical messages. And, and that, that's where, you know, this is why I love what I do. This is where it usually goes wrong. When someone says, well, we want our employees to think more strategically. Then we send in the strategic planning 101 and how to think, you know, strategic planning 102. Strategy comes from a mindset. So it comes from employees feeling somewhat empowered. It's hard to think strategically if you don't know where the organization's going. You know, it, it's hard to be aligned with leadership in the board if you have no sense of what you're working on now. So, I, to be honest, I don't even know if you structure it that well, but you seem to have this incredible, intentional way of communicating that just is sending the right message. Uh, so I, I would say, I, I wish I could get to every member of your employee and give them a hug, that's the kind of individual I am, and say, I mean this, I really do. You are really good. Garden Spot Village is really lucky to have you.